Hi, it's Jim from Animal Ability and fitness contributor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. So today I'm gonna to be doing a full body with posterior chain emphasis workout. So let's do it. Okay, first off, we're gonna pick our rep ranges, whichever range you wanna use, one to five, five to 10, six to eight, whatever you're going for. And we're gonna do Romanian deadlift. Usually lower reps is better with this exercise, but you can do it higher reps. Now this is a partial Romanian explosive deadlift. Do this after your heavy Romanian. You've already potentiated the muscle. Now we're gonna do kettlebell swings. Very explosive ballistic exercise here. More full range than the partial Romanians, pop in the hips, up to straight. Make sure your weight is on your heels as you go back. Now this is a unique one, single leg swings. You wanna brace your body with your opposite hand. Use your knee and thrust the bell up. So you're not only are you getting posterior chain on your base leg, but you're working your hip flexor on your leg that you're shoving the bell up with. These are banded um, leg curls. More isolation movement here for the posterior chain, getting the contracted position worked. This one works better with higher reps, 10 to 15. Now this is a body weight calf raise. You'll notice that my heels are not touching the, wall, the floor, excuse me. So this one, you wanna go 20, 25 reps, making sure you're not using the wall to help yourself up, you're just bracing against it. Now here I'm using the hammer high row machine. This is a great exercise for your upper back. You can do an ISO contrast. That's why occasionally I will use the hammer machines because they allow for this. And the same thing with this high incline overhead press. A little bit of an incline, it says it's overhead press, but there's a little bit of an incline here. And also you can do this since it's a hammer, ISO contrast. That just means one arm's contracted while the other arm's working. You just alternate. Okay, here we are with a hammer low row. This works another part of your back. Once again, ISO contrast method. You wanna hold the contracted position on your ISO contrast. You can do it where it's in the stretch position. I like to do it contracted. And here's the same thing with a chest press. Now you'll notice I'm keeping my elbow slightly bent just to keep the tension on the muscle there. You'll notice this on my triceps when I'm pressing up. Now this is true lateral raise. You'll notice I'm going down to where I'm still off the hips, uh, about 15 degrees up to 90. This keeps the tension on the medial head. And here we are with a old time face pull with the cable, pulling the back of the hands towards the forehead. This is great for the rhomboids right between the shoulder blades. Works your external rotation muscles also. And here we are with a rope hammer curl on the cable machine.
getting a full stretch, full contraction, full stretch. And same thing with the tricep press down, rope tricep press down, going to complete lockout. The cable is still pulling forwards, so it's trying to bend my arms. And these are gar hammer raises. I got these from Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy. You just go down until your back is straight, and then you bring your knees back above elbows, trying to minimize upper body swing. Usually 20 reps of those. And this is also a Ben Patrick knees over toes guy inspired exercise. This is the ATGQL raise using a weight for the first 10. Then I do the next 10 with no weight. And of course you do the other side, just like the single leg stuff. There you go.